Craze, also known as Demon Master, is a 1974 British horror film directed by two-time Academy Award winner Freddie Francis. The cast adds at least two more Oscars and nine nominations to the mix, and yet the results are a rather forgettable movie. Based on the novel The Infernal Idol, Craze was produced by Herman Cohen, a producer of low-budget films since the 50s. The lead role was originally intended to be British, but the opportunity to get Jack Palance was too much to pass up. It was an easy sell on the poster. Palance plays Neil, an antiques dealer with a side hustle as a voodoo priest for pay, but he still isn't making enough scratch. An angry widow tries to reclaim the African idol in his shop, and she becomes its first fatal sacrifice, and Neil's money problems are solved. He starts killing others in the name of the devil god, and finds more fortune. But is it because of the idol, or his own disturbed mind? The idol identified in the film as a demon Chuku is actually Chukwa, a god of creation from the Igbo people of Nigeria. In Igbo tradition, Chukwa created the earth and the humans that live on it. Chukwa does not, according to research, bestow golden riches in exchange for human lives. So, what doesn't work? Well, it's a paycheck film for everybody involved. They're professionals, but they're not bringing their best work here. In his own biography, the director described the making of Craze as flogging a dead horse. And story-wise, it's a Tales from the Crypt episode, a campfire tale that wants to be scary and could be told in 20 minutes. So what fills up the rest of the time? A lot of Jack Palance conniving and scheming, which is scenery-chewing fun. We get a cult-worshipping sequence, complete with brief nudity. As for the mayhem, we get five on-screen deaths. Two at the knifey hands of Chuku, one case of heat stroke, one strangulation, and somebody gets frightened to death. Craze was filmed during the middle phase of the career of Freddie Francis, one of Britain's most acclaimed cinematographers. His first film as a cinematographer was in 1956, and within a few years, he would become one of the most in-demand cameramen in the industry, winning his first Oscar in 1960 for Sons and Lovers. Seeking creative control and financial security, Francis made the leap to directing. He found work directing horror films like The Skull, The Evil of Frankenstein, and Trog. By the time he made Dracula His Ridden from the Grave, he couldn't get himself out of the horror genre. In 1985, he directed The Doctor and the Devils, another critical misfire. However, one of the movie's producers was Mel Brooks, who was also producing The Elephant Man, the first studio picture for up-and-coming director David Lynch. Lynch insisted that Francis could bring an aesthetic that would be perfect for the project. For Francis, the Elephant Man signaled the Hollywood phase of his career as a director of photography for such films as The French Lieutenant's Woman, Cape Fear, and Glory, for which he would win his second cinematography Oscar. Craze also happened during the middle phase of Jack Palance's career, one of Hollywood's all-time tough guys, he won an Emmy for Rod Serling's Requiem for a Heavyweight and became an international star for his Oscar-nominated role in Shane. When westerns and war films began to go out of style in Hollywood, Palance found work in productions all over Europe. Not just westerns and war flicks, but all kinds of movies. All kinds of movies. In 1992, he put on a cowboy hat again for the comedy City Slickers, and won the Oscar for his body of work as much as for his role as one of the last real cowboys. Who else is in this movie? Hugh Griffith has one scene as a lawyer. He won an Oscar for his appearance in Ben-Hur. Trevor Howard appears as a police superintendent. He got his Oscar nomination for Sons and Lovers. Dame Edith Evans plays the doomed aunt. She has three Oscar nominations. Oh, Neil's alibi was played by Diana Doors, the Marilyn Monroe of Great Britain. She's great in this. And Kathleen Bryan's in this. She was the best part of Black Narcissus. Was anybody in Doctor Who? Well, Neil's roommate with benefits was played by Martin Potter. He was Eric from the fifth Doctor serial Terminus. Michael Jaston was one of the detectives. He faced off against the sixth Doctor as the menacing Bailyard. One of the antique buyers was played by Christopher Kum. He befriended the third Doctor as Fu Peng in The Mind of Evil. Alan Harris had an uncredited role as a member of the Coven. He was one of the Vervoids in the Sixth Doctor serial, Attack of the Vervoids. 
Background player Derek Southern appeared on Doctor Who 11 times, but only one character had a name, Krarg, in the Lost Doctor Who adventure Shada. Oh, and Cray cinematographer John Wilcox? He also worked the cameras for Dalek's Invasion Earth 2150 AD, the 1966 feature film starring Peter Cushing as the Doctor. So much talent, trapped in such a basic film. Craze is slow, predictable, with not enough sleeves for the sickos. Only Palance manages to elevate the material by being as crazy as possible. According to the producer, Palance terrified nearly everybody on set with his methods, resulting in one of the actresses getting injured during a take. The best reason to watch Craze is the same reason to watch most Nicolas Cage movies. To see an actor in an ordinary film and watch him take things to 11.